This video is on a mindful approach to developing a plan or a strategy on a particular project. So very often what needs to happen first is clearing the mind of what you could call the busy zone, where the mind has got lots of ideas, it's full of stuff, it's hard to think clearly and in a connected way. With, with a topic because there are so many other things involved that are not relevant. So part of the process, first of all, is to take some time to clear other mind apps, as it were, to use that analogy, to actually come into a calmer, stiller, quieter, more focused frame of mind. Now, one of the ways of doing that is to bring your awareness into your body, to settle your mind into the breath and to stay with that and to use the focus on the breath to help you notice when your mind jumps away, to come back and to anchor your attention onto one thing which is clear and more open and spacious. So. That's the first stage really, clearing the mind. The second stage in terms of mindfulness is connecting. You come into a experience of yourself as a whole. So you have a sense of your mood. You have a sense of your emotions and your general feelings of how you are. And in that way, you're clear but connected. So this is a sort of primary two stages, clear and connect. Then you bring to mind clearly, as clearly as you can, the project that you want to uh, develop an approach to. It might be something at work, it might be something at home. Uh, and you think of it as it were in a broad way first, not the detail. So you, you just get, a, as it were, a picture or a sense or a few words that give you an indication of what the project is. And you bring it to mind. So then checking that your mind hasn't again sort of opened up lots of mind apps and you're in a busy mind zone, just checking that periodically and if they have opened up, you clear them, you come back, clear mind, connected, and then in a very direct and clear way, with sort of quiet thinking, sort of almost dropped into the back of the mind thinking, what is the best plan for this? What's needed? for this situation and then you just sort of wait so rather than a sort of continuous thinking process there's a sort of openness phase where you let the topic as it were just sit there and then you let words or stages come to mind now my suggestion is that when you're exploring this approach you, you just choose three, at least two, but maybe three uh, stages that you're going to go through with this project. So it's not what you call a detailed plan. It's a general plan, a general direction, first of all. So what is the first step? You let a word come up or a phrase come up and you stay with the sense of yourself in a broad sense, especially your body and especially the sense of the torso. So you're connecting with ideas that come up with your body. Uh, and in this way, if a word comes up or a phrase comes up or a clear idea comes up, you check, is that the first step, is that what's needed? 
If it is, you choose the word for it or a phrase, but you keep it really simple. It might be something like, do the research first, for example, or research, or background. You, it's something very, very simple. But out of that comes lots of things. There might be lots of work that need to be done around that, but you've got the general direction. And then when you've got that, and you fix that, and you connected it with it, then uh, what's next? What's the next step out of that or in relationship to that step? And you just sort of wait. Out of the openness and clarity, hopefully another word or image or sense of the next step comes and you check it. All the time you're coming back to a sense of your body. So when an idea comes, you don't run away with it, but you just stay with the body and there's a sort of checking with your body and your feelings too about that uh, second step. You, you, there's a, a, a way here where you make sure that the two steps fit together. Yes, that step is right, that step's right, but do they connect? Yes. And then you ask again, what's the next step or stage or facet that will relate to those two? What's next? And again, you do it with a clear and open frame of mind. And what, what comes, just let it come. Again, preferably in terms of a simple phrase or word. And again, you check it back to your body and the sense of yourself and your general feelings about it. And if something clear comes, that you, you find the word. Now, it, at this point, it, you might be talking about something that's way down the road a bit, so you're not exactly sure what it's going to be. But it's more about perhaps an attitude towards the project at this point. Uh, so you you come up with the the phrase or the word, you check it, you check it back to the the previous two steps, and then you fix it as it were. Yes. So. You have your three basic steps of your plan of how you're going to approach this project. And then you, you do something which is very central to mindfulness, is that you will stay with it. Primarily, you'll stay with it. Now, what this means is that you'll check for random tendencies or tendencies to randomly jump off the, the direction and do something different without having gone through this process. It just got maybe out of panic. Oh, I got, it's not working or it won't work. Or, oh, and you jump off randomly. So the clear intention is to to check whether the mind is jumping off the, the direction uh, and the plan. And if it is jumping off, you deal with that. You look at it perhaps in a similar sort of way that uh, you set up the three stages or you just calm down. <laughs> you calm the mind down and recommit to the stages. So you then stay with it. Now at a certain point you might want to actually revisit the steps and the stages and the direction but you do it in this way with a sense of a, a clear calm settled mind which can be quite objective and feels you feel connected to the whole thing and you can be, in a way, objective about 
what is happening and whether it's working rather than just randomly jumping off it. So this is the basic approach and it has all the elements of mindfulness in it. The more that you practice mindfulness in your everyday life, the stronger your ability to stay with this process becomes.